Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own simulator inside Roblox. So the first thing you want to do is go to server script service, hit plus, and insert a script. And uh, basically you want to make sure it's a normal script with this icon and not any other icon, and make sure it's not a local script. So I'm going to call the script leader stats, and this script will basically create all the stats in the top right. So to start off, we're going to type local players equals game colon get service and inside the brackets make sure you put speech marks and players inside then you want to type local on player added and then two brackets uh, before that make sure you type function and then after that you want to hit enter and it should create an end like that and inside these brackets make sure you type player from here you want to type local stats equals instance dot new and inside these speech marks also make sure this i is capital and inside the speech marks type in folder and then from there you want to type stats dot name now this part is really important make sure you type it the same way i do or else it will not work you want to make sure that in inside these speech marks you write leader stats just like that no capitals no spaces nothing make sure it's leader stats from there you want to type stats dot parent equals player and then we can go on to the next thing so in this simulator we're going to have cash and we're going to have strength so you know a normal weightlifting simulator so we're going to type local cash equals instance dot new in value cash dot name equals cash and then cash dot value so it's the default starting value we're going to set it to zero and lastly cash dot parent equals stats since it is a stat and then you can copy all of these lines here and then from there we can go ahead and change a few things for example Right here we need to type strength i'm going to paste that in all of, uh, in all of these spots from, from there you also want to change this to strength and you can have a default value if you'd like i don't want to have a default value so i'm going to leave it and now you just need to connect our function so basically players dot player added colon connect and inside these brackets oh sorry by the way it's players dot player added and then inside these brackets you want to type on player added or the name of the function right here. And from there, you're gonna hit play and you'll see your stats in the top right. As you can see, now we have cash and strength. The next thing we're gonna be doing is creating a tool that gives you strength when you click it. So for this, um, I'm just gonna be using a weight from the toolbox. Um, I'm gonna click models and search up weight. From there, I'm just gonna use this first one and we don't need any of the scripts. So go ahead and delete everything that is a script. And you want to find your weight and it looks uh, like you know in a good way it has one part inside which is uh, really good make sure you delete the touch interest and from there you want to go go inside and create a script actually uh, sorry this time we're gonna be making a local script also make sure you drag this weight into starter pack so inside this local script you want to type local tool equals script dot parent and also inside the tool make sure you go ahead and hit plus and insert an int value you want to uh you want to call this one um add so basically uh we can set add and go to value and make sure you set it to like five so every time you click this will give five strength to the player so after that inside the local script you want to type uh local uh event equals and from there inside replicated storage hit plus and make an event and actually also make a folder and call it remote and then put your remote event in, in, inside the uh, remote folder i'm going to call this re remote event add strength and from here we can go ahead and type local event equals game dot replicated storage dot remote dot add strength and from there you want to type tool dot activated colon connect function and actually right here on line 3, go ahead and type local um, add equals script.parent.add.value And then what we can do is add, actually in case we do add boosters in the future, remove this dot value here. And we can do add uh, local. From there what we can do is event in fire server and actually we're gonna have a cooldown so you can't just auto click so type local events equals false and then we can do if 
B bounce equals equals tree, then you turn N and then you know, drop down from there and type D bounce equals true. And then we can type event colon fire server and you can type add dot value. So just like that, this tool will give you strength when you click it. Not yet though, we do need to create the server side script. So basically that means the uh, player is going to tell the server that the player has clicked. And from there, we need the server to actually give the strength to the player. So go ahead and call this new script inside server script service, add strength. And from there, you also want to make sure that it's a normal script and not a local script with Python. So from there, inside this add strength script, we can type local event equals game. Dot replicated storage actually we're gonna type local replicated storage equals game well we get service replicated storage just in case we have any sort of issue this is the proper way of doing it from there you want to type replicated storage uh, dot remote dot add strength dot on server event colon connect function and inside these two brackets go ahead and type player comma add and then what we can do is local leader stack equals player colon wait for child and inside these uh, brackets and speech marks type leader stack. From there what we can do is local strength equals leader stack colon wait for child and in here uh, you want to go to the leader stack script and find uh, whatever you name here. So you can obviously change this to anything you want for us it's strength. And uh, basically that's what the value will be called for every other script to see. So inside here we're going to put speech marks and type in the same thing so we get the same value. From there we want to type strength.value plus equals add. Basically every time the event is fired the player will get the strength. So if we hit play and we can try out the tool, make sure it's in a starter pack. And real quick looks like we have an error. Script.parent.add. I'm just going to change this to wait for a child and that should work. Now if I open up the weight and I click, as you can see I get 5 strength every time and real quick we didn't make the, um, the cooldown so here you want to set the uh, wait time for the cooldown. I'm going to make it, you can get uh, 5 strength every second so after you would type wait uh, 1, type debounce equals false, hit play and your tool will be complete. So as you can see when I hold the tool and I click I get 5 strength. Even if I spam click, there is a one second delay, as you can see. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to be creating a cell part, and we might do some other things. So other than that, it's Rodev. Make sure you like and subscribe so the next tutorial appears on your recommended page. Other than that, see you guys in the next one. Peace.